It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills on Monday night. And we are underway in Buffalo. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. Fighting his way through contact. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. Here we see the Bills offense take the field here at quarterback Josh Allen. And it just feels like Allen has the Bills on the cusp of something great. Another 13-win season last year, and they're officially perennial favorites in the AFC. Behind that effort, continued excellence from one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. Second and 10. Here's Allen to throw it. And he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Up going to the air on the opening drive. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. I don't know about you, but I like this call third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back, and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front. And now off to the races, down the right side. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, 46 yards. And the Bills put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point by Bass, up the good. And that makes the score 7-0. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Well, the Broncos offense gets set to go to work, and at the helm in his second season wearing orange and blue, Russell Wilson. And I think that even after a decade in the NFL, he doesn't get enough credit for not just his consistency, but his brilliant play and leadership as well. He's won a Super Bowl in Seattle. He's led his team to another Super Bowl opportunity also in Seattle. His numbers are always terrific, almost always in the Bowl Bowl, and all his team does is win. This guy's a natural leader. Stays on his feet, and he'll take it across midfield and in the Buffalo territory. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Wilson now to throw on third down. Finding Sutton on the out route who makes the catch. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are an extra point away from drawing level. Oh, this is blocked. That's a live ball scooped up by the offense. So 
So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession. There he goes, right side. Deontay Hardy. are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And the lead is up to eight. And what a job there by Wall 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent. The return excellent. The result, six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Flush to his right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It goes as a gain of eight and moves the chains. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Now Wilson. That's to the rookie, Marvin Mims. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now a second and 10. Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Here's Wilson. Screen play set up for Williams. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. Second and six with the ball on the seven. From the gun, it's Wilson. Buying time to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. Russell Wilson taking it in from seven yards away. And the Broncos get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And that's a say we feel like we've seen a lot over his career. But remember for Russell Wilson, three in his first year as a Bronco last year and only 15 in the last eight years. But he still knows how to use those wheels when necessary. And he takes care of business right there. And he's loose again. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Such an electric play. So much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. Extra point by Bass. Up and good. And that makes this a nine-point game. So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Final 24 seconds of the first half as they come up here first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. 
Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried his dress rehearsal into the game. You know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. So we are at halftime here on a Monday. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. down there, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything, and against that man coverage, there was no space available, and incompletion as a result. On second down, Williams, and he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They called out a loss of six yards, and it's third down now. To throw is Wilson. Just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's Hardy set to return. And they can't bring him down. And that one a 55-yard punt, 13 on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. On play action, Allen. He's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And all the way home for the Bills touchdown. Dawson Knox, his second touchdown of the night. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Allen will try to throw for it. And he's got it. So the try for two is successful. And that bumps their lead up even further. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target the tight end. I love how you described it because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secured. A lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Quickly into the hands of Mims. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he will maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. And that's also all for this third quarter of play. Back 
now in Buffalo. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Throwing is Wilson. And he is caught. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now Wilson. Yeah, that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here caught by Mims. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 19. Wilson will throw again. Dance into his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's brought down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Man open left side, it's Williams. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. On second down, Wilson. Now he'll escape. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. And now for them reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. And this is caught for a block on touchdown. Marvin Mims from four yards out. And the Broncos have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Third time's a charm on the extra point as he gets this one to go. And the lead is trimmed down to 10. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to nine. And down to the 20 will go before heading out of bounds. Points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. On second down, Cook. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves them with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And he will have a Bills first down, and that should be that. They probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Bills are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. This is why a lot of play callers love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. And Denver getting set to take the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on one before the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now a deep goal there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And it 
incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wilson. That is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On the return, Hardy. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And to be frank, Charles, probably not too many people surprised at how this one turned out. Yeah, I don't think so. 